this thing that's drawing your attention, it is so much larger than it is that you know it to be. This is truly, truly a gift from the universe. The decision to stay in that space is more poisonous and more scary than the decision to take that step forward and seeing what will happen. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your weekly astro and intuitive forecast for the week of March 16th, 2019. There's so much for us to discuss. Not only do I have our astrology chart pulled up, but I did pull some cards. And of course you guys already know, I took about 20 to 30 25 minutes of meditation in order to pull messages for you and this is what it is that I'm receiving for all of us now the first thing that really sticks out to me for this week is the fact that mercury is preparing to go direct why this is important to me and why I want to talk about this first is because mercury rules communication our minds and our thought he's been retrograde since I think around like the sixth or the seventh I can't remember because I'm constantly pulling date what mercury retrograde has a tendency to do is to create conflict and to create discord is the word that it is that I'm going to use in order to describe the vibration of what it can bring this is there to shift your perspective and how you view others and also how you view yourself and what it is that you are co-signing, what it is that you are connecting yourself to or committing yourself to, the conversations, the words that it is that you use. This is the universe's way of asking you to be very mindful and careful about um, how you say things, the way that you say things and who and what is around you. When Mercury goes retrograde, this is a time for all of us, not just you or me, but literally all of us to quiet and to go within instead of us constantly speeding forward all, all the time. If we did that, our life would fly by in a blink of an eye. We would miss opportunities. We would leave things in the past. We would make mistakes and never have a second chance to revisit them. So the main thing that it is, and I don't know if this is something that happened for you in the past you know few weeks that have already you know passed while mercury was retrograde is was there any conflict was there any discord was there any imbalance and that's the main thing that is i want to start off this message is i think that for this full moon but more than that for this week it's almost focusing on that those details that kind of made you feel uncomfortable or made other people uncomfortable or areas in your life where you were hoping for more or you have, were having a struggle in order for two things to come together or two people to come together. That's the next thing that it is I want to talk to you about with this week is that I see sparks flying. That was actually the visual that I saw when I was in my meditation is it's like these sparks, this chemistry, these firecrackers, these lights, like a sparkler. So there is something within your life that has caught your attention. It's vibrant, it's sparkling, it's pretty, it's glittering, or it could actually be the chemistry, the bond between you and another person. And Mercury retrograde will have you second guessing yourself or your own insecurities are getting highlighted or is this truly what it is that I want or does this person want me as much as I want them or am I ready, am I prepared for this job? There is a sparkler and please take this as a metaphor because this is just how my visions come through. But whatever it is that this sparkler is within you, there, that in, the fact that it's sparking and sending those lights off shows you and tells you that there is chemistry there. And sometimes our logical brains or our, our human brain, our human mind kind of rejects that and says this isn't real, this isn't possible, it's, it's too good to be true. In some instances it is too good to be true. But if you keep feeling it, if that chemistry, if, if that you know firework is still there sparking within you, that is very much real and in my opinion it's there for a reason. Sometimes the conflict, the discord that it was that I was talking about earlier, sometimes that shows you how much you want something and how much you want to fight for it. But it's not the right time for you to fight for it. Maybe you need to prepare for it. Maybe you need to set intention. Maybe you need to work your magic. So those are some aspects that it is that I'm seeing for this week. Well, that has been happening and building up until un, at, until we get this moment of this week. And a part of it, again, is the full moon, the Libra full moon that's happening on the 21st. But I don't see that being the only day. I see it the days to follow where you really have an opportunity to 
pursue that sparkling light, that sparkler within you, whatever that thing is, whether it be again a relationship, this chemistry that it is that you feel with another person, this passion project that it is that you've been wanting to initiate, this job, this career, this conversation, this opportunity, there is a sparkler that is lit up and it, you can't you can't deny it. It's definitely there. The other thing too is that this discord, this stress, this conflict, this tension that's been building up, it really sh will challenge you because I think that what Mercury retrograde does and what I believe and what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is that your old ways of thinking about things, your old ways of doing things needs to be challenged. You cannot move forward into the future the same person that it was um, or you can't move into the future, you can't move forward positively and constructively into the future, into your destiny, into the person that it is that you want, into the life that it is that you want, making the same moves that you did in the past. And the same is true for other people around you. So what the universe will do is it will create conflict, it will create tension and discomfort in order to create a shift, in order to create a change. That's why it's so important for you to respect when Mercury retrograde is quiet and dormant and asking you to be dormant because it allows that person or that thing or you to get uncomfortable enough and that gives it you the space and that gives it the space in order to change without you going in and being like do this do this do this do this they're not ready they're not ready but that conflict that tension that insecurity that those shifts that need to happen those things are happening when everything is quiet that's why I tell you guys again and again to respect what the cosmos are telling you to respect what the divine is telling you to respect what your intuition is telling you because sometimes go 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 is not the way to go 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 sometimes it's really important and you have no idea how much things are changing even in these times where it seems like everything is iced over and everything is quiet now that's what it is that I'm seeing the other thing that I'm seeing for this week is this message of empowerment and freedom and it makes a lot of sense too because these were some three cards that it is that I pulled from the oh flowers from the deck Oracle which I personally I love this deck love love this deck and I'll link it down below but or I'll link her Instagram but this is the card um, empowerment and freedom which came through the next one is spontaneous the rabbit and the third one is transition and moving forward into the unknown. And that is exactly what it is that I'm seeing. The next thing that I'm seeing is, and let me pull this up for you, is the full card. And then also the nine of cups. Now, with the Libra full moon, which is happening on the 21st, I'll have a full video about that and the details of that, as well as any full moon and every any new moon that's to come. So make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel um, and you turn on your notifications. That way you're notified as soon as I upload that video and you get first access to like exclusive information to those new moons and the energy around it and also how to work your magic. But with the Libra full moon, yes, it's connected to relationships and partnership and balance. But more than that, I'm hearing and seeing the word unity. And basically what this is, is two separate entities that are coming together and choosing each other as one. And this is very important because if there's two separate things, that means that they're not the same. Maybe they have similarities, maybe their vibration is the same, but they have, it's like polarities. They have different essences. And when they come together, there's something about them that is sparking between them that is pulling them that is why you need to listen to the sparkling sparkler that's within you because it's showing you what is getting pulled to you go towards the light don't go away from it so when you come when you when you two come together and it maybe it's a person maybe it's a job maybe it's a, a, a travel destination maybe it's an opportunity an email a conversation but whatever it is that's sparking up and has been sparkling up that's what it is that you want to come to because that other thing is getting drawn to it too so what I'm seeing is the leap of faith that it is that it takes in order to take that first step because again you have to keep in mind that this old mindset, this old belief, these old thought patterns, they're really getting tossed. And I think that that's why this card here, um, Transition Into the Unknown, is showing up. Be and also empowerment and freedom. Because if you think about it, bats actually, and I'm saying bat because that's what this card is. It's the bat. Let's see if it focuses. It's not going to focus. Trust me, it says bat. But they stay in the dark and they follow their senses and they go with sonar and radar. What is it that they're being pulled towards? And what I see you doing is I see you stepping out of, and that's again the fool card here. The fool card, sometimes people call it an idiot or some people say you're naive, you don't know, or it's dangerous. You know what? I'm naive because I 
am taking this leap of faith for something bigger than me. I'm, I'm going to do this because I feel called to do this. There's adventure out there. There's something that it is that I want to, you know, maybe pursue. Is the risk worth the reward? The only way for me to find out is for me to take that first step. And when we see cards like the Nine of Cups supporting it and this empowerment card um, encouraging you to really believe in yourself and to believe in the universe and what you're being called to what you're being pulled towards that should be encouragement enough in order to you know help you to free yourself from these restricting ways or this old lifestyle so let's say you have something that is that you really want or something that you see chemistry with but maybe it doesn't totally make sense or maybe the you're not sure if it's gonna pay off or maybe you could get your heart broken or maybe you could get fired or who knows, who knows, the sky's the limit. I can, I could sit here and list all the things that could go wrong and the same is true for you. You're, you know this already because your brain can come up with all the things that can go wrong. Like our brains are, are wired that way. But our spirit thinks about what can go right. Our spirit knows that okay, yeah, there might be challenges, there might be a risk, but the reward, the reward, it's gonna be so worth it. So that's ultimately what it is that I'm seeing here. And then to back this up even further, I put three cards from the Lennerman deck. Let's see if I could find the other one because it seems like it disappeared under all of these decks of cards. All right, I guess, oh, here it is. So there's three cards that jumped out with this and it's the, the Clover, it's the Carousel, the Messenger, and the Ship. Now, when I saw these cards, you guys know, like this is how my intuition works, this is how my readings work, um, and how I pull messages. Yes, I look at these cards and I know the meaning of them behind them, but the images, the symbols, they trigger my intuition. And it's so wild because, and this blew my mind, but the first message I heard when I saw these cards was, it's almost like this sparkler, this thing that's drawing your attention, it is so much larger than it is that you know it to be. This is truly, truly a gift from the universe. This is a truly a gift from God, from the divine. And this is not given to you just as a gift, just to be like, here, take this. I, I thought you would like it. No, this is something that I feel, and I intuitively felt this so strongly within my spirit. It's you worked so hard for this. We're not giving to this to you because we want to spoil you rotten. We're giving this to you because you actually deserve it. It's whatever the, the one thing that's been challenging, challenging you the most, that has been pushing back and resisting almost you the most, but you still keep pushing, you, you still keep trying to persevere and push forward. This is where you receive this gift. And that's what these cards really symbolize is this message, this, you know, opportunity, this luck, this abundance that's been coming to you, not because, you know, it's just like, oh, here you are, fine. No, you actually worked really, really hard for this. All of what you have gone through, the years that, that have brought you to this moment, the hard work, the, the effort, the, the trials, the trying, the, okay, I'm gonna change this about myself, or I learned this about myself, or I'm never gonna do this again, but I, I'm not gonna give up. This is what it is that I'm seeing that finally comes in, and again, it's not just based upon pure luck. It is because you actually deserved it. On the 26th, which is not this week, but next week, Mercury finally goes direct. But before he goes direct, we are still under his influence where everything gets really still. And that's what it is that I'm seeing where if you see a moment this week where you're just like, is there progress? Do we have movement? It's, it, everything becomes still for a, for a moment, for a reason. It's like if you're spinning and you know, whirling a top and then the top just kind of like is spinning like still and you don't even, you can't even see if it's moving forward or moving backward. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but I'm 31 and I grew up spinning tops. I don't know, they came in my cereal box and I thought they were dope. <laughs> But there is this moment when the spot, the, the top is spinning so fast because it's about to like, it almost seems to like change its rotation. That's actually what Mercury retrograde is doing. And that moment where it's like, am I moving forward? Am I moving back? That's the moment when everything stills. And I think that's the moment when it's going to happen. So I think that the time is going to be different for everybody. But what I really do want to encourage you to do is to 
focus on the difficulty, meaning like examine it and say, okay, I'm not gonna give up on this one area of my life that's really been challenging me lately because that's the one area of your life that is actually getting the most revolution, like the most revelation, the most change. And you are actually going to be freed from the conflict and move forward. The other thing too that I want you guys to know is that on the 20th, the sun moves out of the sign of Pisces and into the sign of Aries. I don't care how assertive, how dominant you are or you aren't. This is a time for you to really believe in yourself, to take that first um, step forward. The Fool card knows all about that and so does Aries. Aries is a leader of the Zodiac. So the rest of the world can look at Aries and be like, wow, how stupid are you? Like, you're gonna walk into that cave or you're gonna walk you know, down that path, that's really dangerous. You know what's even more dangerous? Me staying in a stagnant ass situation. That's more dangerous. So I'm gonna take this leap of faith. And if anybody has what it takes, it's you. So whatever it is that's sparkling for you, that's what it is that you need to be assertive and bold for. If you decide that you are not going to be assertive and you're not gonna be dominant, and you're not gonna take that, that first step, then it just sucks because I just feel like you're gonna stay in status quo. Um, and at some point in your life, you're going to know that there are some things that draw your attention and there's some things that you can't ignore, but that you should give it a chance. And it just gets easier over time for those of you guys who are hesitant, but it gets, if you give a, a thing, a ch um, an opportunity, um, a person, if you give it a chance, you would be so surprised how it will pay off. And... Maybe if it, that, that means take it step by step and work your magic every single step of the way, then that if that's what it takes, then that's what you should do. But what you shouldn't do is pretend like it doesn't exist when in reality is your heart has been pulling you in one direction and showing you the chemistry that's been budding between the two of you. Again, whether it be a person, this place that it is that you wanna go, this trip that you wanna take, this thing that it is that you wanna do, we can't ignore it any longer. You can choose to ignore it, but the, the decision to stay in that space is more poisonous and more scary than the decision to take that step forward and seeing what will happen because it honestly that's the message that is that i pulled through and if it helps you any any further the nine of cups was the last card that was pulled and i was just like say no more thank you so much for watching this if you love this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down doesn't matter make sure that you are subscribed to this youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from and i'll see you in my next video bye